We explained sun and squamous cell carcinoma of the skin. Meet George. Over the last few months, he has started to notice slight bumps and itchy patches on his arms. George becomes alarmed because he doesn't wear any sunscreen while on lifeguard duty at the beach. George goes to see his dermatologist who suggests having the bumps on his arms removed. He has a skin biopsy performed and learns that he has squamous cell carcinoma of the skin. Squamous cell carcinoma is the second most common cancer of the skin that develops in the squamous cells of the epidermis. It is typically diagnosed by a dermatologist by paying close attention to any new or unusual growth in spots on the skin. It is usually non-threatening but can be aggressive. Most cases arise from prolonged exposure to UV radiation, either from sunlight or from tanning beds. Most squamous cell carcinomas of the skin can be completely removed with relatively minor surgery or occasionally with a topical medication. Which squamous cell carcinoma of the skin treatments are best for you depends on the size, location and aggressiveness of the tumor. The pathogenesis of squamous cell carcinoma is multifactorial. The main contributing factor is UV sunlight exposure which can cause formation of thymine dimers in our DNA. There are three stages that result in malignant transformation and spread of cancer cells, initiation, promotion, and AMP, progression. The best way to prevent squamous cell skin cancer is to consistently shield your skin from sunlight. For example, you should apply broad-spectrum sunscreen with a minimum of 30 sun protection factor daily and every two hours if you're sweating or swimming. You should stay in the shade, and wear protective hats and damp clothing when going outside. 